Hello. Let's work on a manual diaphragmatic release. First, if you have any abdominal scars, pelvic floor scarring, tearing from birth, hernia repairs, you're gonna notice this. Even low back scars, I've had people feel it even with neck and upper trunk scars. So to do this, you want to be able to hook your fingers like a C underneath the rib cage, okay? Underneath your rib cage here. Now I can go further on one side than the other from some of those scars, right? So we want to be able to, and, so, and, and some recent surgery, so we're always going to work on this. Notice what I'm doing first. I might want to kind of belly dance or slouch to get your hands up under the rib cage like this. As I inhale, remember you have to you really have to master that low tech breathing using your low tech breather first, your resistive breathing. Then you want to inhale. See how my hands are drawing my rib cage out? You might have missed it, so I'll do it again. On the exhale, the fingers deepen a little. Inhale. Exhale. If it feels tight, you can kind of slouch, you know, into that area. Let it go. Belly dance it a little bit. Inhale. Exhale. Now, I feel a particular kind of tender point in one position, so I'm just going to stay there and use pressure. My pressure is coming towards you, towards the camera. It is not just sticking into my abdomen. That curl of the fingers is really critical. So you're curling them back onto themselves so that I'm pushing outside my body. And then begin to release, okay? Doing this daily, doing that about three times with your breath. You can do it longer if you like. Um, I'd say no more than about five or six mobilizations should get you on your way. The deeper the breath, the more effective it will be.